First of all, I want to say I am not promoting or condoning the use of any illegal mind-altering substance. This video is made purely for educational purposes. Alright, so dimethyltryptamine, or DMT for short, is an abundant chemical found all throughout nature in plants, animals, and it's even hypothesized to be endogenous within us humans. Many people's DMT experiences are very synonymous to that of a near-death experience, leading people to hypothesize that the DMT experience may be a glimpse into the afterlife. DMT is overall very safe for the body compared to other drugs, there are not any long-term bodily effects that linger after DMT use, and no one has ever overdosed before. And it is not an addictive substance, so don't worry about that. Inhaling this chemical will produce utterly profound effects for the user, so profound in fact that words cannot even begin to describe the entirety of the experience. In this video, we will be talking about DMT in its smokable form, which is quite a bit different from DMT orally ingested in the ancient shamanic brew ayahuasca. What separates DMT from other psychedelics such as LSD and mushrooms is that the experience does not last long at all, but it has the potential to catapult you into realms much deeper and much more foreign than that of other psychedelics. On other psychedelics such as LSD, the come up is very slow and gradual, and you don't peak until you're a few hours into the experience, and then after that you have a gradual come down until you're normal again. DMT, on the other hand, takes effect instantly and thrusts you into an entirely new state of awareness, oftentimes completely out of your body and completely out of the confines of your own ego. And these effects only last about 10 to 15 minutes, and then you're back to baseline. But of course, the intensity of the experience depends greatly on dose, and before I get into these dosages, I want to say that body weight is a factor when it comes to DMT, so people who weigh more will probably have to smoke a little bit more to get the same effects, and people who are lighter likely won't have to smoke as much. Also, even with weight aside, and I cannot emphasize this enough, people have different tolerances and sensitivities to DMT. Whereas someone might have a breakthrough experience on only 30 milligrams, someone else might have 45 and still only be in the waiting room. So the best thing to do when smoking DMT is to gradually work your way up to see how your body reacts. So take the following dosages with a grain of salt because that dose might not be what your experience is exactly. So now let's get into it. The light dose I would say is about 5 to 10 milligrams, with the threshold being at about 5 milligrams. This is equivalent to about one small to medium hit of DMT. At this dose, you are still very much grounded into reality and your own ego, but colors will likely appear more vivid, things might seem really beautiful, and objects may warp. You might have some overall slight distortions or abnormalities in your perception, but overall you are in a relatively normal state of mind with a few minor changes. The medium dose is about 15 to 25 milligrams. Here, your visuals will likely be very profound. Moving geometric and kaleidoscopic patterns might enter your vision, and objects might start to warp heavier, and you might perceive things overall way different than you had before. Eco-dissolution may begin to occur, you might feel that your cultural filter has been removed, and you feel a sense of interconnectedness with everything, which is a common theme among the psychedelic experience but it is highly unlikely that you'll have this deep mystical experience in which you're catapulted out of your body and commune with entities in ways that people report in higher doses. Although maybe someone who is hypersensitive to DMT might have that experience, who knows? A strong dose is about 25 to 40 milligrams, and this is where things get really intense. This dose can be achieved with about two large hits of DMT, and here the visuals will likely start to consume your entire vision. You'll have a strong ego dissolution and it is in this dose that words fail to fully capture the essence of the experience. A breakthrough is possible at this dose, especially on the higher end, but a common theme among this dose that people have is that they are in a sort of waiting room where they feel the trip is about to take them completely out of this reality and break through to another one, but the breakthrough is not quite there and they're still in this sort of waiting room on the edge of reality. It is also at this dose that major time dilation occurs when you're deep into the DMT experience, time is simply not being perceived. You don't make any references to it whatsoever, which can make your short 15 minute trip feel like days, weeks, months, years, centuries, or just seconds. There is literally no way to make any references to time when you're deep into this realm, which for some people that might be very scary, but for others maybe not so much. 
and because you can't make any references to time, as there really is no past or future, it is difficult to form memories of the experience afterwards, kind of like how you wake up from a dream and then you forget the whole thing five minutes later. If you want to maximize your memory from the trip, immediately start writing it down when you're back to reality. And now finally, if you take over 50 milligrams of DMT, you will almost certainly have a full breakthrough experience. And this dose is usually about three big hits, and oftentimes it can be difficult to take the third hit because you are already falling away from reality after the second. But this dose will launch you fully out of this reality, and you will be situated in an entirely new dimension. This experience may be utterly ecstatic and blissful, but it can also be hellish and one of the worst experiences of your life. So proceed with caution at these doses, and like I said at the beginning, gradually work your way up. Oneness is a common theme among these ego-shattering, reality-breaking doses. You can experience your utter interconnectedness with everything in the universe, and you may be shown the most intimate, precious, and sacred aspects of what it means to be alive. A lot of people report encountering entities at these doses, such as elves, snakes, jesters, angels, and many more. And they might do a variety of different things to you, such as give you knowledge about the universe, shower you with love, or do something terrible to you. There is a lot of speculation whether these entities are real, and that they exist in a higher dimension, or if they are just projections of our own mind. Nonetheless, these encounters are still fascinating, and most people that come away from a DMT trip can usually derive a few lessons from it, and oftentimes those lessons can be integrated into everyday life. But also sometimes, you're catapulted so fast and so deep into the psychedelic realm that when you come back down, you just have no clue what happened to you as the experience just took everything you knew to be real, and everything you knew to be true, and just completely shattered it. It is without a doubt that the DMT experience is utterly profound and can be a valuable tool in life when used properly. And I say properly because it is essential that you are in a good mindset and a good setting before you trip. You want to be somewhere where you can completely let go of everything for 15 minutes, you want no distractions, you want nothing nagging at your mind, and you want someone you trust to make sure you stay safe. I hope this video helped you in one way, shape, or form. If it did, please leave a like and drop a comment for that algorithm boost. If you really enjoy my content and would potentially be interested in supporting my work on a higher level, I do have a Patreon. The link will be in the description. I run a book club on there where we read a book related to topics on this channel once a month and then we talk about it. I would be eternally grateful if you joined, but no pressure. And as always guys, have a great day and peace.